All right, open C1 position shifts. First of all, let me remind you, this is an open C tuning. So it's C, G, C, G, C, E. You tune your second string up a half step to a C, your fourth string down one full step to a C, your fifth string down one full step to a G, and your low bass goes down two whole steps from an E to a C. So once again, it's C, G, C, G, C, E. <laughs> So, in measure one, it's very simple. It's just a basic arpeggio. Now, you'll notice when I do strings two and one, or frets two and one here on strings three and one, I'm purposely leaving off my middle finger because that's not his home. So, in this one, I wanted to talk about the right hand position shifts and how crucial that is to slide playing. How advantageous is probably a better word for it. But if I have index, middle, and ring on 3, 2, 1, that's position 1, 4, 3, 2 is position 2, 5, 4, 3 is position 3. So you'll notice that in the first two measures I go... Now that's P-I-M-A on 4, 3, 2, and 1. And I do not pluck 5 when I get there. And then I have... Now you can do kind of a broken chord when you do the 4 and 3 and you come back to 2 and 1. You can separate it like that. Like that. And then you have a position shift on measure 4 where you come up to 4, 3, and 2 and get... And then you go 11 to 12. Now, since it's only a one measure, or a one fret move, rather, you need to sit on that 11 for just a second to make sure your timing is right, especially since this is a quarter note. So you want to have... So it's one and two and three, four. One and two and... So everything up till now we've been doing has been quite a bit of um, grace notes and eighth notes, and here's a quarter note with that position shift. Now in measure five, you have you have a double pair, and then you have a position shift, and then you have a reverse slide from the sevens to the fives. So since I'm in position two, I pluck that. 777 seven, seven with PMA and then I do another position shift up to three get those deeper register notes and I'm in position three here and then I'm gonna go 10 to 12 as quarter notes so you have to watch your um, timing on these so it's really important to use a metronome on measures four and um, probably really six two and especially on seven as well because in measure four it's a quarter note but it, you have to wait a while because it's only one fret movement whereas in measure uh, seven you have two frets to move so those distances make a difference with the timing so the last line is Now you'll notice in the last measure, that's position two. Then like I indicated there, you suddenly shift your M and A strings in the middle of this measure to position one. And then when you come up to 12, your thumb will hit string four. So the last measure is, you hear that note. So, real slow, the whole thing is...
right, good luck with that one.